Have you ever felt the burning need to just play an icy skeleton, man? Because that's how I felt right before I turned this game on. Hey there! Welcome back to Adventures with Windback. Your friendly neighborhood YouTube Heroes of the Storm stuff. We're playing KTZ today, and uh, things are on quick match settings because I am not super confident in this hero and my ability to play him, but man, do I love fucking blowing nerds up in quick match with this hero. Um, oh yeah, your teams today, Tyrael, Kel'Thuzad, Anduin, Falstad Lunara versus Kromi, Arthas, Kael'thas, Lili, and Valera. And that last one just pisses me off. Not that there's anything wrong with Valera, but when the fucking game is like, hey, have a stealth assassin while you're playing Kel'Thuzad. There is a Kael'thas and a Kel'Thuzad in this game. It's going to be really fucking confusing. I'm sorry. Um, ooh! Thank you for walking up into it. Got her. She's going down. We're also going to lose our deer. Fuck. Going to take some chromie damage as well because I am shit at predicting where that thing is going to go. Got a chain. Completely missing the Lily on the follow-up chain. Uh, a handy little tip for all you newish Kel'Thuzad players out there. You want to hit your W on the ground between your two targets before you chain them together. Boom, got him. Didn't even need to waste Tyrael's trait like that. Oh my god! Gonna get... Got the chain on Valera right before I died. Not Valera. Chromie. That's who I meant. Uh, but, anyway, back to the death screen. This is what happens when you die. You get a funny little timer there at the, and you watch your teammates die. It's... Just gotta breathe. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with that, because they did have a lot of people there. He was kind of pushed up. I'm sure he's aware of that. Not like it's new for Quick Match. Oh my god, Valera from the Shadows. And it uh, looks like we will avenge her. Goodbye, Valera. That was for you, dear lady. That was for you. Free chain there when Chromie likes to stand still. We don't have our spike up yet, though, so can't do much about that. Over. Oh! She's still throwing damage at us. Spooky. Icy Skeleton Man versus Tiny Dragon Lady. And I'm going to get stopped on this rotation by that Valera. Fucking annoying. She didn't try to kill me, though, so I guess that's fine. She probably could have, but I completely ignored her and kept walking. We do have our phylactery of Kel'Thuzad at four, so we're picking up globes now to help complete that quest. Nobody's over here, which is weird. Uh, and I don't think anybody's over on their turret either, which is also weird. Hmm. Um, yeah, but anyway, globes are important. I was kind of standing there hoping to find someone walk by because that seems to be the right place to be. But nobody told Kel'Thas. He's gonna die, right? Yeah, there it is. Jesus. Sometimes you just gotta get the deer spear to seal the deal. Say that 20 times fast. 20? Maybe 5. Try 3 if you're having a chop. Um. Help. Yep, the, the tank is chasing me. Okay, that's fine. The tank gave up, so I don't need your help anymore, team. Let's see if we can hit this motherfucker. Got the chains. Didn't get anybody else. What I'm having to do every time you see me miss all that shit horribly is uh, I am preemptively putting my W down because I have to. Because if I do hit it, it's got to be ready to go. Because if it's off by even a little bit, they do have an opportunity to just walk out. Which is bad. Are we gonna get her? Didn't root her, but we did slow her. And she's gonna live. Son of a bitch. Can we throw the Miss Arthas entirely? Man, the wind up on these abilities is nuts. Got the root and the Valera kill, though. And, uh, got the chains on Chromie to the spike, but apparently didn't have our W ready for that. Shit! 
got the spikes on Lily. Gonna completely miss the Chromie for the pull. Chromie's gonna stop herself. Falstad's not gonna be able to kill her either. Well, could be worse. Things could be much worse. Enemy team has not channeled as much as we have, and uh, we've channeled at least half. So. Now we're all alive. We have effectively reset. We're letting the team, the enemy team, have the. Oh my god, Bell's dead. Is he gonna live? He's gonna live. Uh, we're effectively giving up the objective so we can all get ready to go back in and kick their asses. But at the current. Um, oh my god. Everything is a little bit scary. She fucking. Throw me with you fucking bitch hourglass shit. More ice! She's dead. Yeah, the deer spear. Got it. Big root with that one. Landing the death and decay on top of that. Sealing the fate of the enemy, Kelthas and Arthas. Together they go. Together they die. Is that. Are you doing that camp all by yourself? I'll help you out a little bit. He's gonna pick up the turret and then immediately get blown the fuck up. By, uh, Chromie, Which is pretty hilarious, to be honest with you. I was positive that I got in the driver's seat, and I really should have been, because, uh, our current driver ate all of that damage and didn't clear the minions. Clearing the minions is the most important thing you could do in the driver's seat of the robot. Especially if you're running up into a tower. You're welcome for that kill, gunner. You're welcome. I mean driver. I'm the gunner. You know what I meant. Oh my god. And down goes the robot. Love eating super easy poke because you just I wanted that kill. Okay, can we get this one instead? You know what, Arthas? You're not even good enough for my abilities. Have three auto attacks. That's what you're worth to me. That's what you're worth to me. Don't ever let anyone tell you that Kel uh, Kel'Thuzad... I almost did it again. Kel'Thuzad cannot siege. Uh, he does insane amounts of damage with his Q. Especially once he stacks. It is pretty nuts. I don't know. I guess that was Valera with her unstoppable. Because she did get hooked. And then the hook was just like, I'm going with her. Uh, the other thing to mention, though, about Kel'Thas. Kel'Thuzad's. Shit. is looking at Kel'Thas. Kel'Thuzad's siege potential is that you shouldn't ever be doing it by yourself. You should only really... Oh my god! Please leave me alone! And we're dead. Got killed by the fire. Um, the other thing to mention, the thought to finish, because I keep getting fucking stuck. Is that a pyroblast? Oh my god, Anduin! The king of storm wind? The guy with the big shielding protected bubble? I swear to god, when that pyroblast hit him, he had, like, negative health. That's what it looked like. Uh, anyway. Kel'Thuzad's siege potential only really comes in when his team is with him. Because if he's ever out doing it by himself, he's not getting stacks, he's pushing a building. But if his team is with him, and then the other team has to respond, then suddenly you're getting stacks again. Oh, dear. Down. Falstead getting his shit peeled for because I am the best ever. Thank you. Um. Right, yeah, no, but... Jesus Christ. You're welcome. You got that kill because I kept you alive with my chains. So you're welcome. I did not mean to auto-attack the, uh, the boss thing there. I completely missed this. this he just... He freaked out, I freaked out. I mean, we both screamed in each other's faces and walked away. That's how that worked. I'm gonna put down the spike.
gonna whip Arthas back and I didn't have my W down for some reason even though I hit the button got them both that time A fitting tribute nope not gonna continue fighting us that is in their best interest hey is that a Valera? Uh, oh, oh, I love those ults man he's just fucking wrecking that shit and there is the sanctification right on top of that to even save more people do even less damage on the enemy team. It's pretty cool. Pretty good stuff. Um. Anyway, no. Uh. Yeah. Kel Kelzad pushes really good as long as there is an objective or a team behind him. If he's just out and about throwing cues willy nilly, he can do damage to buildings, but he's gonna get his shit exploded because he can't get out. He can't escape with an ability like he's just he's got jack shit so right now I'm only confident in doing this is because my my team is close by oh my god that's a Valera can you get away from me can you please thank you and the pyro channel getting cancelled as well thank you and do it can we can we get the pull can we get the pull got him big roots big damage from oh my god is that a pyroblast oh my god and it save me where's your ult Oh, he didn't even need it. He just had his Q. Oh, did you see? Let's just tap and get back in there. That is a wonderful player right there. The guy who clicks the Q button and then you suddenly live? Hey, is that a Valero? I guess not. <laughs> oh, funny. We do have our spike up, so we can kill her. Well, I guess we don't even need to. It's funny how I get all, like, preemptive for this shit, and then the enemy team's just like, nah, I wanted to die. I, I, was, I was completely ready to sacrifice myself. No, couldn't pull him. A little bit too far away. I do have to get out of the habit. Oh, passing the bomb. I am so bad. He's going to shield me, though, and I'm going to get in the robot because I want to drive this time. Punch. Um, I was just saying something, and I have completely forgotten what it was. Thinking about too many things at once. Hmm. Oh, right. Getting getting in the habits with Kelfazad. <laughs> that fucking ability is so stupid now. Um... Yeah, uh, so what I have been doing a lot with this hero is hitting those E's from pretty long range, like so far away that I'm not going to hit my W unless I walk really far out of position. And I do that, but I shouldn't be. Yeah, I missed. And I really need to just get uh, into the habit of going for the easy chains to get people pulled together and maybe do something for my team rather than just things like that. I got the art this though, so that's all I needed to make myself feel better about my own abilities. <sighs> but here we are. I don't really want to go to the siege camp. I want to go do what these guys are doing. These guys look like they're having much more fun. Get the chain in. Completely missed the Lily. Material is going to save himself with the big sanctification. We don't have any abilities that can engage until right now. Got him. Can, can we get? Can we? Get, nope. Couldn't get a follow up because I couldn't get. Oh my god! I can't believe he's gonna live. I cannot believe Kelpas lived with the half a percent of health that he had. That is fucking bullshit. And I did everything that I could with the possibility of maybe auto attack. It is whatever. Chromie down again because she was split pushing for some dumbass reason. Let's go throw a Q over at this camp. You gotta hit the heal camp guy. You gotta hit the, the one that's healing the turret. Ah, it's, I don't... Sometimes you just look at stuff and you're like... What? 
Hey Arthas. Hey, guess what? You just took a lot of damage. You just took a lot of damage. Couldn't kill him though, because my team was not in position, and I do not have the amount of damage required to kill a tank on my own. Especially one. Wow, he didn't uh, take Icebound Fortitude. Weird. Weird. Anyway, let's uh, post up with our team here, put some Q damage on this building. Let it fall down. See if we can get some chains on people. Missed it completely. Nailed it. I'm getting another terminal ready for you. Minions, please! Ghouls, step it! You're making me freak out! Okay, that's fine. Tiny little ghoul people don't have shit on the huge skeleton ice person. There's a difference. I know it's a lich. I know he's important in World of Warcraft. I don't play World of Warcraft. I thought a lot of the story and the cinematics are cool. But uh, the game itself, does, just, it doesn't do anything for me. It, just, uh, it doesn't. I'm sorry. I do like the characters in Hots, though. Some of them are a lot of fun. Brawl, especially. And KTZ! <laughs> because that's the abbreviation. The camps are easy to take as the game is ending here. Like I said, it falls into the siege category with Kel'Thuzad. Uh, his Q does an obscene amount of just stationary damage. We're not going to lose him, right? He's got Anduin up there. Yeah. Look at that. That's fucking crazy. I'm just trying to prep these buildings. We have catapults coming in. I was leaving. Um, I did not realize that the enemy team was going to be going that way, though. So... Ah, I missed it. I may or may not have uh, totally fucked all my shit up. Tyrael did. <laughs> he did this sanctification too early. I just noticed that. Uh, but my team is going to kill the ever-loving shit out of the rest of these people. So, there it is. My death is entirely worth it. I'm going to call it a bait because that's how I make myself feel better about pointless deaths. And give my team another you're welcome. Here comes the robot down the back. Alright, Chromie, it's you and me. I've got your number. <laughs> Dead. Have you ever seen something so beautiful? Have you just... Killing Chromie is just so much fun. And it's, o it's only because she's just so... Ah, there's so many memories of not having fun against Chromie players. So even in, in this, the year 2019, blowing that bitch up is a lot of fun. She's also a lot of fun to play, though, so I can't be, you know, I'm a little bit on the fence. There you have it. False Dad is the MVP. You're not going to see me on the board because I didn't do jack shit but die and miss chains. Uh, but... The few chains that we did land were super cool, right? I thought so. Thank you for agreeing with me. I know how you feel. Here's the build. Barbed chains at level one. Um, probably because could have secured a few more kills if I had taken the W. But hindsight is twenty twenty. Phylactery at uh, this is a bug is showing Chromie's talent tiers instead of everybody else's normal. So. Level 1, Barb Chains. Level 4, Phylactery. Level 7, Chilling Touch. Level 8, I mean 10, Shadow Fisher. Level 13 is Chain Link. Level 16 is Power of Ice Crown. Level 18, I mean 20, Fuck, is Might of the Scourge. And I'm not sure I made any use of this talent whatsoever. Cannot recall. Cannot recall at all. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun playing with Kel'Thuzad this time around. And we didn't do too shabby on the numbers, right? Oh, we had the most siege damage in the game. Wow. No, that's hero damage. I'm stupid. 
I don't read the columns right. I was like, what? I didn't do 926 hero damage? I did the most hero damage in the game. Get on my level, nerds, with your fucking kills. This is where all the, re the kills really came from. You know it. 24 is... Si uh, yeah, 27. This guy is the real MVP. We all know it. We all saw. Okay, well, thanks for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time.